reading a book for the first time is like going on a blind date. You never know what awaits you, but if the book is good, there is a big possibility that you will fall in love. Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are very well. Welcome to my channel, The Personal Cozy Project. And I thought, uh, why don't do a reading blog and try a chapter of three books that I've been wanting to read for a long time. I heard lots of really nice comments about them. And many people like them and treasure them. The books that I will be uh, trying a chapter of today are Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier published in 1938, A Room with a View by E.M. Forster, published in 1908, and Whose Body by Dorothy L. Sayers, published in 1923. So I am very excited about try, trying a chapter from these books and just tell you just my reaction, my opinion about these stories. And I would like to know also if you have read these books what do you think about them? And also, are they cozy? <laughs> I have um, a feeling that Whose Body Will Be Cozy. I really love old um, vintage cozy mysteries, like those from Agatha Christie. Uh, Rebecca by Daphne de Maurier. I have read lots of good comments about it. Many people love this book. And A Room with a View. I've also heard the title and I think there's a movie, but I've never watched it. So I am really excited. Let's start the reading blog. I've downloaded the first chapter for, of, of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. And I am very excited to start. I'm drinking my tea in my cozy mug. And I will read you just a little bit about the story. So Rebecca... Daphne du Maurier, best known and best selling novel, is the classic tale of a young woman who marries handsome widower Maxine de Winter and moves to his great house at Manderley in Cornwall, only to find that all is not as it first seems. And I've already uh, watched the movie in, in Netflix. I, I really liked it. I, I enjoy the atmosphere and the story is really suspenseful and um, but I have a feeling that the book is much better so I hope I like the writing style and so now I will start okay so I finished reading the first two chapters and I am impressed about the writing it is uh, really atmospheric and uh, how can I describe describe this? Um, it really it really makes me uh, want to continue reading this book because the writing I think is really um, beautiful and it is poetic and the way how things are described is really nice and I'm sure many people know already the beginning of this book but I would like to read just the first sentences last night I dreamt I went to Manderley again it seemed to me I stood by the iron gate leading to the drive and for a while I could not enter I know these uh, sentences are famous and it pulls you right away in the story and it makes you feel that you want to read more. And I was really impressed just with the first pages of this book. And also I wanted uh, to read something more uh, about this girl who starts to live in Manderley. So I would like to read you just these sentences. I am very different from that self who drove to Manderley for the first time, hopeful and eager handicapped by a rather desperate gaucherie and filled with an intense desire to please. It was my lack of poise, of course, 
that made such a bad impression on people like Mrs. Danvers. And so I like really this reflection that she makes and I have not read a lot of this book but I feel a sense of sadness uh, when I read this book and although the, the descriptions are beautiful and it really invites you invites you to start the book and to be immersed in the story I am not sure if I would like to read it now because for me personally I would like to be in the right mood to read a book that is full of um, of melancholy so I really would love to read, to read this book but I think maybe I should Maybe I should continue to read some chapters, but I I think if it con I think it will be it will be it will continue to be melancholic, and so then I will have to postpone the reading of this book for the next months. So I would like to know if you have read this book, if my impression is true. Is it a book that you consider? that it is really not sad, it is not depressive uh, or is it a book that has these elements and these elements are very strong. I will continue with the next book, A Room with a View by Ian e. Forster, published in 1908.